bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. There is a pervasive math and science illiteracy in the United States, especially among minorities. But someone has to take the lead, and it begins in our own backyards. Hello again, and thanks for joining us. I'm Carla Shoa Lee, and you're watching Comcast Newsmakers. In the studio with me this hour is Rick Ramsey, the president and CEO of LEAD. And today we're talking about their organization. Thanks for joining us today, Rick. Thanks for having me. Nice to meet you. You know. I, I know there's nothing new about the fact that we're lagging in numbers when it, call, when it talks about uh, math and science, but what does LEAD stand for? What's the acronym stand for? It stands for Leadership, Education, and Development. Okay. And we've been focused in the area of education and development as it relates to business for some 28 years. Huh. Um, our focus has been on taking top talent uh, minority students and we put them on the leading business school campuses for a month in the summer um, and during that time we expose them to the world of business as taught by leading business schools like the Wharton School and Stanford, Cornell and Dartmouth. Mm. Um, what's great about our success over these 28 years is we can boast 7,500 alumni and 65% of that group are currently working in business. Mm. So there's something to the yeah, model that's absolutely. working very well. Yeah, what was it, the program actually launched? It was launched at Wharton in 1980, okay. and it was launched by McNeil Pharmaceuticals and the Wharton School when there was a concern with the number of diversity students who were truly interested in pursuing careers in business. Mm -hmm. And they took the first step, followed by Michigan and a number of other schools, focused in the area of business. Okay. And today we're here to, to announce and to talk about this next move and this concern around science, technology, engineering, and math, and that STEM education and what our nation is going to do to address it. Right, and you have some heavy backers anytime you've got Google and DuPont on board too. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And when we brought this particularly to Google and DuPont and said, we're gonna get into this game in a very big way. We have proven results on what we can do when we get in front of this nation's top talent students and expose them to the world of business. Now we're moving to engineering and we're saying to our big 100 high schools and, 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 and counselors and others that send your kids to us and we will put them on a leading engineering campus for three weeks in the summer and we will turn on our resources of education uh, development through the university's faculty as well as through our corporate sponsors, Google and DuPont and others. Mm -hmm. And for that period of time, we're gonna say to them, consider this as a career because this is what you'll need to compete globally. Right. The child today, their competition is not the child from Kentucky, mm -mm, it's no. the child in Cutter. Absolutely. And that yeah. is the child that they're com be competing for for jobs in the future. And the key word that you mentioned was experience. Exposure. Exactly. Yeah, tell me about Boost. Um, I'm not, sorry, not Boost, but STEM. STEM. Yeah, the STEM part of that is really the acronym that focuses on this science, technology, engineering, and math. Mm -hmm. And there are many uh, universities that are doing a great job at providing STEM education to a broad um, swath of students around the country. Um, what we're getting into the game with is the point of saying we're going to know where you can find this nation's most talented diversity students. Mm -hmm. We'll bring them into our STEM umbrella program, mm -hmm. which will be lead for engineering, because these are the kids that have proven to be accepted into some of the most competitive colleges in the country, the engineering schools in the country. We've seen those results already with the lead program over the past 28 years, but now we're going to take an affirmative step toward finding these students, exposing them to engineering, and saying to them, consider engineering as a career because we need you. Well, that <laughs> we still remains to be the challenge, is finding those students? I, for us, it's not necessarily finding the students okay. as much as it is exposing them okay. to a world that they haven't seen yet, mm -hmm. right? We will find the kids, as we do today, with great math scores or great GPAs, and we bring them into our business program, and they go, hey, you know, I never thought business yeah. was an option. And we're going to now say to those students, at one year earlier, we're going to bring them in at 10th grade, and we're going to say to them, consider engineering as well. And maybe they go through our League for Engineering program, and at the end of the summer, they say, engineering may not be for me. And we say, well, fine, come on back and check out business, because you are a child that can compete globally. Right. Taking the lead. Thanks so much, right. Rick. This hour's newsmaker has been Rick Ramsey, the president and CEO of League. Thanks for watching.